Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. What you're seeing here uh, is all Hella's hair that I've been brushing out of her. <laughs> been pulling out clumps and clumps of her hair. Beautiful, beautiful day here today at the homestead. Just wanted to share that beautiful view with you. All right, uh, today is the 20th. It is Thursday, 2023. Uh, very, very nice day here today. Beautiful, actually. Wanted to touch base with you guys really quickly and uh, talk about uh, let's talk about where we're going to talk about climate change in China and the United States and new bans that they're proposing and it's just the insanity gets more and more and more uh, it doesn't stop it's amazing to me so we're going to talk about that a little bit so I was going to get up here. All right, so John Kerry just went over. He's the climate activist for the United States, goes over to China, has th uh, three days of talks, has meetings, and guess what happens? Absolutely nothing. China basically has said they're not going to have another country dictate to them what they should do as far as climate change and all that type of stuff, all right? That being said... China produces one-third of the emissions, 31% of all the emissions of the world. So they actually put out more than, you know, anybody else. Uh, you know, the United States puts out 14%. Uh, obviously, if you guys have been paying attention, the Biden administration has gone uh, after gas. Uh, you know, propane and stuff like that. Pro, um, all new construction, like in New York, there is no propane used at all. It's all electric. Now, also, I want you to realize, too, okay, so they're doing all this all-electric stuff, uh, getting rid of propane stoves and everything like that. But they've already stated that probably this summer, and obviously we're in summer right now, that two-thirds of the United States of America is facing blackouts due to not being able to produce enough power. So I want you to think about that. So we're getting rid of things that can help us, uh, you know, as far as that goes, but at the same time, going and putting it all on electric so that that way when you have your blackout, uh, you're not able to use your gas stove to stay warm or any of those type of things. Unbelievable. So they've gone after gas stoves. Uh, they're going after air conditioners. Now the latest thing, the next thing they're going after is they're going after the um, oh God, uh, generators. That's the latest thing. They're saying that small generators need to cut their emissions by up to 50%. And the larger generators uh, need to cut their emissions by 95%. And they're going to be regulated, these new generators, that once they've reached a certain amount of emissions that they have put out, they'll shut off automatically. So that'll really help, won't it? If you're, you're, you know, you're out of power, uh, there's a, you know, ice storm or, you know, a tornado or something that comes through and you need to have that power, but you've reached your emissions max and screw you, your thing's going to shut off automatically and it'll be shut off for so long. I mean, is that not insane? Or not? I, I just, I, I don't get it, okay? But anyway, uh, China has stated that they're not going to have any other country dictate to them um, what their timeline is going to be and how they're going to do things. And so that's what's going on with that. So it's very interesting, uh, definitely you know, need to be paying attention to these things because they are relevant. They do make, you know, they're, they're important to pay attention to. Uh, so basically China, you know, and, and I want you to understand, understand this, guys. The tensions between the United States and China right now uh, is so, so bad. Hold on a second. I want to check something here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. My apologies. Somebody told me that there was a smudge on the lens. Let's see. Hopefully that's better. Hopefully that's better. Let me know, guys. I apologize again. I had forgot to check that before I started making this video. 
uh, somebody told me there was a smudge on the lens and so you could see it on the video and wasn't thinking about it and I just thought about it and that's why I decided to try to clean it off okay so anyway getting back to what I was talking about you have uh, you know basically ch now I, the other thing you have to understand is China is really amping up their solar and their wind um, and they're, they're doing actually more than any other country as well but again, you look at the population, you look at the emissions that they're putting out, um, and if you know, if you can't get the country that produces more emissions than anybody else, or more than double what we produce, if you can't get them on board, uh, you know, you're going to have a huge, huge problem. So you know, who are the biggest polluters? All right, you have China, India. Uh, and then there's one other one and then we're like right behind there, but we, we you know we've we've come a long way as far as that goes uh, But you know, we're putting out 14% and you like I said again, China Has 31% and they're you know, they're not slowing down on their with the coal emissions and coal burning plants for power and stuff like that You know, they keep talking about how oh, we need to make these changes. We need to do this. We need to do that but what, what are you doing to offset that? What, what is being done to put us into a position where we can produce enough power through solar, through wind? What's being done there, right? So unless they amp that up exponentially, it's never going to work. See, there, there's the reality. The reality and the fantasy are two different things completely. Uh, you know, they, they keep, there's obviously the agenda to uh, put us where we're, we're at and going through what we're going through. But what's, what's changing? What's being done to change it? So those are things to think about. Um, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this. I want to hear what you guys think. You know, uh, regardless of what we do, is that going to make any difference if countries like China and India don't get on board and do their part? Uh, if you are a believer in climate change, which I am not, okay, just being honest, uh, the ch planet changes, I think that, well, it doesn't matter, we're not going to get into all that in this video, but uh, if, they, if this is believed to be a real crisis, uh, then why wouldn't these countries get on board? All right, that's kind of my thought on that one. Again, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off really quick for now. Remember, we truly are all in this together. Uh, we are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.